Hello everyone, I'm Captain Ron, and welcome to our channel. In this video, let us understand the effect of a ship's center of gravity when shifting, loading, or discharging of weight on board. We will also calculate the vertical distance on the shift of the center of gravity in order to determine the ship's final kg. This video is divided into three parts. Part 1 covers the movement of a ship's center of gravity when shifting a weight or cargo already on board. In part 2, it covers the movement of the ship's center of gravity when adding or loading a weight on board. And in part 3, covers the movement of the ship's center of gravity when discharging a weight on board. All parts of this video include a single weight problem in calculating the vertical movement of the ship's center of gravity and determining the final kg. Kindly check the link in the description for the part 2 and part 3 of this video. The ship's center of gravity is defined as the point where all the total weight force of the ship acts vertically downward and the symbol is capital letter G. But before I proceed, let us have a short review of our metacentric height known as GM. If you are not familiar with metacentric height, kindly view some videos about it or you can check the link in the description. The ship should be in a state of stable equilibrium before she departs at port. It is said to be in stable equilibrium when if she is inclined, she will return to its upright position. If this is the ship's transverse section, and at the center will be the ship's centerline. In stable equilibrium, the ship's center of gravity, or G must be below the metacenter or M, so that we have a positive initial metacentric height or GM. Since our keel can be found at the bottom with the symbol k. If we subtract kg, or what we call the vertical distance from the keel to the ship's center of gravity from km, or the vertical distance from the keel to the metacenter, we must have a positive gm, or positive initial metacentric height. And that is said to be the ship is in state of stable equilibrium. But when a weight on board is shifted, loaded, or discharged, the ship's center of gravity moves. Whenever the G moves, the shift in G must be calculated whether it is a single or multiple weight. Let us start with the effect of shifting a weight that is already on board. In this example, we are dealing with single weight problem. If this is the ship's transverse section, and let us assume that the ship's center of gravity or G will be here along the centerline. A weight or cargo from the lower hold will be shifted on the main deck, just above the initial position of the weight being shifted. Then, the ship's center of gravity will move parallel and in the same direction as the shift of the center of gravity of the weight. Let us label the center of gravity of the weight or cargo as a small letter G. So it means that from the initial position of G, it will move upward, and let us assume that the new G will be here and marked as G and a small letter V or GV. You can mark the new position of your G as G1, but for now, I will mark it as GV to emphasize the vertical shift of G. In this case, there will be an increase in KG and a decrease in GM since our metacenter is above G. On the other hand, if a weight is shifted from the main deck to the lower hold, G will move downward in parallel and in the same direction as the shift of the center of gravity of the weight being shifted. In this case, our kg will decrease and an increase in gm since our metacenter is above g. And the formula for finding the shift of g from its initial position to gv will be, ggv is equal to the weight being shifted, times distance, divided by the ship's displacement. Where ggv is the vertical shift of the ship's center of gravity, the small letter W is the weight being shifted, the small letter D is for the distance through which the weight is shifted, and the capital letter W is for the ship's displacement. Let us have some exercise for the shifting of weight. Calculate the ship's final kg if 30 tons of weight is shifted vertically upward from the lower hold and the kg or vcg of the weight is 2.2 meters, move to the main deck with a kg or vcg of 6.8 meters. The ship's displacement is 6,000 tons with an initial kg of 4.65 meters. The first step is to find the vertical shift of the ship's center of gravity or GGV, 
in which the formula is weight times distance divided by the ship's displacement. So for the weight, that is the weight of the cargo being shifted which is 30 tons. For the D or distance. Let us check first the illustrations. We will assume that here is the center of gravity of the weight being shifted, mark as a dot and labeled small g. From the keel to small g, the vertical distance is 2.2 meters, which is why in the given problem, the kg or vcg of the weight when it is in the lower hold is 2.2 meters. Then, when the weight is shifted in the main deck, the vertical distance from the keel to the center of gravity of the weight which is labeled small g is 6.8 meters. So for the distance, that is the vertical distance from the initial position of small g, to the final position of small g after shifting a weight. We will just subtract the smaller from the greater value, we have now 6.8 meters minus 2.2 meters, then divide by the ship's displacement which is 6,000 tons. Cancel both unit of tons, we have now GGV, is equal to 30, times 4.6 meters, divided by 6,000, is equal to, 0.023 meters. The vertical distance from G to GV is 0.023 meters. Since the ship's center of gravity moves upward after shifting a weight, the ship's kg increase, so we will add GGV to the initial kg, to find the ship's final kg which is 4.673 meters. Find the kg or vcg of the weight, you can refer to the ship's stability manual or to the ship's plan. Let us now go to the next exercise of calculating the vertical movement of the ship's center of gravity and final kg when shifting a weight already on board. But before I proceed, could you do a small favor for me to like and share this video? And if you are new to this channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much. The next exercise is Calculate the ship's final kg if 45 tons of weight is shifted vertically downward from the main deck with a kg or vcg of 7.3 meters, shifted to the lower hold with a kg or vcg of 2.4 meters. The ship's displacement is 8,500 tons with an initial kg of 5.62 meters. The first step is to find the vertical shift of the ship's center of gravity. So the ship's center of gravity will move parallel to and in the same direction as the shift of the weight center of gravity. We will assume that the new position of the ship's G will be here. You can mark the new position of your G as G1, but for now, I will mark it as GV to emphasize the vertical shift of G. The formula to calculate the vertical shift of the ship's center of gravity or GGV is weight times distance divided by the ship's displacement. So for the weight, that is the weight of the cargo being shifted which is 45 tons. For the D, that is the distance from the initial position of small g before shifting, to the small g of the weight after shifting. We will just subtract the kg or vcg of the weight before shifting, which is 7.3 meters, minus the kg or vcg of the weight after shifting, which is 2.4 meters. Just subtract lesser from greater. Then divide by the ship's displacement, which is 8,500 tons. Cancel the unit tons, so we have now 45 times 4.9 meters, divided by 8,500. The vertical shift of the ship's center of gravity or GG1 or GGV is 0.026 meters. To find the final kg, our initial kg is 5.62 meters, we will apply the vertical shift of G or GGV which is 0.026 meters. Since the movement of the ship's G when shifting weight is going down, the effect will be a decrease in kg. So we will subtract GGV. The final kg is 5.594 meters. For parts 2 and 3 of this video, which are the effect of a ship's center of gravity when loading and discharging weight on board, that includes the calculation of the final kg, kindly check the link in the description. That's all guys, and thank you for watching.